Greetings, everyone. Well, to start with our exploration of chord tones from one chord going to unlike chord tones to the next chord, let's take um, a very simple pattern of just running up the chord itself. So D minor seven flat five. And it finishes on the seventh, and we're gonna let that seventh fall to the third of G. Again, that sounds like And then we can do a similar thing on the one chord, the minor chord, the C minor major seven. one in minor. We could do the mirror image of that. Come down. Another good thing to practice. So taking that same idea, let's start on the third of the two chord, the D minor 7 flat 5. And let that E flat fall to the D, which is the fifth. G dominant seventh, and then on the C minor, let that ninth fall to the root. And it sounds like. We could do the backwards version of that. Same thing on the fifth. The eleventh falling to the flat seven. And on the C minor, starting on the fifth. Backwards version of that. Same thing on the seventh. Let me do the seventh down here. to practice through all keys. Sounds absolutely fine. Now taking that original idea, we could actually run this chord on the five chord, we could run this B up its own uh, chord. Starting on the root, falling to the third, going up to the flat nine, landing on the fifth. We can even take it a step further if there's room on your instrument. Up here. And if you've got even more room, you could, because we're doing a whole bar of C minor, it could run all the way up. Now, you'll probably run out of room. But then you could do backwards versions. So doing a backwards version, you could start your backwards version here. And of course, this works on all of the others too. If I was to do start on the third, land it on the fifth, let's start on the fifth. We'll start down here, which goes to the. Fifth. 
Um, again, let me do that one fifth. Let's do the seventh. So there you have a whole available sort of upward pattern. You, of course, you could do mirror images of that. You could do a down pattern. Up here. Uh, here. and down up patterns. So if you're running out of room, <laughs> so notice what I did there. I went root here, fourth, and then the third, coming down, and then I went up the pattern. Let me start on the third. Do the seven. And here's the good place for the six. Notice that I am using the fourth or the eleventh, if you will, as a chord tone in this. Or the ninth in this. So you can see, just by using this pattern alone in its upward version or its downward version or combinations, you have some really interesting lines that you can come up with on a minor 251. And you can be very creative with where you want to take them. <laughs> longer you could do two of them in one bar so you could double up on those particular chord patterns as well so there's a whole lot of possibilities for you to practice now in the name of <laughs> leaving space, which is one of my thing, one of the things that I like, or being a little bit more min minimalist in your playing, you could infer this particular pattern by not playing all of it. Because what is really happening is there's a guide tone here, the seventh falling to the third, and then the seventh. infer this pattern without playing all of the notes. Just a different way of thinking about it. But if you've practiced that um, full pattern first, then um, it'll make more sense in your mind and possibly um, in the minds of the audience listening to that. So it could be a single note. Yeah. 
note above. An even different note above. Now you're thinking more sort of compositionally. It could be two notes. you can do that on all of the other versions if we're starting on so you start that note you start on the further up or whatever too. So let me go back there. If you want to embellish them or from underneath. Let's do one up here. and it's up to you how you want to use them. Um, going back to the, uh, the first pattern, let's do, we did the backwards version there, we could just do three notes and repeat notes. there by thinking slightly in a more minimalistic way which really turns into more of a, uh, a rhythmic play if you've just got two notes you could play them for two, but it could be one, two, three, four. Or if it's a faster two, five, one. It could be on the end of. There's all kinds of rhythmic possibilities. So that's where your rhythmic exploration comes in. So I hope uh, this was an interesting device, an interesting help in your uh, 251 or your minor practice.